square root of 2 is irrational. That's what we are going to prove in this video and we shall give its proof by contradiction. Before that, let's see what rational and irrational numbers are. The numbers of the form p over q where p, q are integers, q cannot be 0 and greatest common divisor of p and q is 1 are called rational numbers. Do remember this condition. The greatest common divisor of p and q must be 1. It is also pronounced as uh, p and q are relatively prime relatively prime or we can say p and q are co-primes. We shall make use of this condition to show that the square root of 2 is irrational. The set of rational numbers is denoted by q. Uh, now we see what irrational numbers are. The numbers that cannot be written in the form p over q are called irrational numbers. The set of irrational numbers is denoted by q dash. So we have two basic types of numbers, rational numbers and irrational numbers. And we know that the set of real numbers is the union of rational and irrational numbers. Uh, real numbers are just union of rationals and irrationals. Also, we know that uh, the intersection of Q and Q dash, that is rational and irrational numbers have nothing in common. So, uh, a rational number cannot be irrational and an irrational number cannot be a rational number. Uh, now, we go to the proof. Now we prove that square root of 2 is irrational. We prove it by contradiction. That is, we want to show that square root of 2 is irrational. But on contrary, we suppose that square root of 2 is rational. Uh, so if square root of 2 is uh, rational, then it can be written in the form p over q, where p, q are integers, q cannot be 0, and greatest common divisor of p and q is 1. Now take square on both sides. Square root of 2 whole square is equal to p over q whole square. It means 2 is equal to p square over q square. So p square will be equal to 2 q square. And let's name it equation 1. Here, uh, the right hand side is divisible by 2. So left hand side must also be divisible by 2. Uh, that is 2 divides RHS, so 2 divides LHS. It means 2 divides P square, so 2 divides P. Let's ex explain it. Uh, suppose P square is equal to 16, 2 divides 16, and uh, we can get P is equal to 4. Also, 2 divides 4. So if 2 divides p square, 2 must divide p. Then by definition, we can write p is equal to 2r, where r is also an integer. Now we replace this value of uh, p in equation uh, 1. So equation 1 becomes 2r whole square is equal to 2q square, 4r square is equal to 2q square. Uh, apply cancellation law. Uh, we can we get q square is equal to 2r square now here again c the right hand side is divisible by 2 so the left hand side must also be must also be divisible by 2 that is 2 divides rhs so 2 divides lhs that is 2 divides q square and 2 divides q now here uh, notice that 2 divides P also 2 divides Q. Therefore, the greatest common divisor of P and Q has now become 2. But what we supposed is 
that the greatest common divisor of p and q is 1 now this is contradiction to our supposition because we suppose that the uh, square root of 2 is rational so greatest common divisor of p and q must be 1 so our supposition is wrong and what we supposed we supposed that square root of 2 is rational so our supposition is wrong hence square root of 2 is irrational because if a number is rational then it cannot be irrational and vice versa